Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to go ahead with Capricorn's What's Next reading. So this is what Spirit wants you to know is next for you in your life. So please bless these cards, Spirit. Thank you so much. This will be for Capricorn. And please give us clarity, insight, and guidance for all Capricorns on what they can expect next in their lives. Thank you, Spirit. I'm not putting a time frame on it. We're just saying what's next. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all might hear uh, my cousin in the background. He is uh, home and playing video games with his friends online, so y'all could hear him in the background, okay? Just a heads up. I'll try to be a little bit louder on these videos. I've been getting some people saying they can't hear, and I think sometimes I have the uh, camera too far away from me. So, Spirit, please bless these cards. Let your will be done in this What's Next reading for all Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus also have the fan going in here, too. So, that could play a part. And it is a kind of a big room. So, maybe I just have to project my voice a little bit better. But, Spirit, please bless these cards. Bless this reading. And this is for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That was pretty flush. I think we'll take that. Spirit, please bless the cutting of these cards. Let your will be done. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. So something is about, I mean, Nine of Swords. So something is about to happen. Uh, either you're going towards someone really fast or someone's coming towards you really fast. But this could also be like aggression or, you know, um, I should say like a forceful energy coming at you or you're bringing this force to someone else. If it's not, you know, something passionately that you're going towards, it could be because swords are their thoughts. So someone could be coming at you or you're going towards someone with trying to like let them know what time it is, <laughs> sometimes it's forceful. Sometimes it's like, I got to let you know what time it is, so I'm bringing it to your grill for real. <laughs> and so that could be, okay? So just be mindful. First card out the gate. Wow, go right ahead, Capricorns. The will of fortune. So things are about to get really good for you guys. You should know that when this will spins on you, this is a blessed time. And this is just like spirit on your side in pretty much every area of your life. So you can't really lose. This is like everything you touch turns to gold. And it's like basically getting paid back and getting justice and getting what you truly deserve. So how awesome is that? Go right ahead. Next card, <laughs> the high priestess. And so this is using your intuition. This is using your spiritual discernment in the situation, knowing what to do without knowing how you know, <laughs> or seeing through people who are liars and that sort of thing. So if this is an issue, you'll see right through whoever this Knight of Swords is, and you'll be able to make the right decision for yourself. All right, bottom of the deck here, we got the Two of Pentacles. So you could be juggling work and home life or two situations. You also have the tower. So it looks like this is what's being <laughs> juggled is this tower. Could be some kind of relationship. Doesn't have to be love. It could be family. It could be something outside of a relationship, work. But something's being worked on. It needs to be worked on. But, you know, this tower is falling. So that could be the end of a cycle. And then it looks like it is the end of a cycle because we got the Ten of Wands. So whenever you get the Ten of Wands, that means you're closing up this cycle. And it could be the falling of this tower and doing so much juggling. You know, so let's move on. And we got the Moon card. So you might have not been clear about certain things. Well, now you're about to become clear. This is about intuition as well. And you can see, like, she has a moon there, that's intuition, and the moon just came out. We had a, a solar eclipse yesterday, so things are getting revealed that were hidden from us. So get prepared, 
because I just found out some things today that I was shocked by. Like I was truly shocked by the information that I found out and who who was doing things behind my back. Like that information came out. So you might be getting that same kind of info <laughs> and being things being made clear for you in a situation. All right, Capricorn. Russell, you have some choices to choose from, so be sure you choose the right thing because you got a gargoyle, you got a serpent, so you just want to make the right choices for yourself, especially if you're dealing with someone who's causing a tower and who's also making you juggle and who's also making this a difficult time for you, so just keep that in mind. Next card, Capricorn, four of wands. So this could be the buying of a new house. This is a new foundation being built. This is success, a milestone. This is beautiful. So from going from here to here, this is a blessing. So I'm so happy for y'all. Looks like you're going to spiritually graduate after the 10 of wands and go to the four of wands, which is success, a beautiful new like you see the castle in the background, it could be marriage, it could be renewing your vows, but all in all, this is beautiful success. Okay, next card we got the lovers, and this is perfect for the four of wands. So if you're with your lover and your guys are being successful and doing things together, like buying a new house, congratulations some kind of milestone for these lovers is going to take place. So I'm very happy for you. And this is exactly what you want to see after a tower. The tower falls so we can build a new tower. And <laughs> look at that tower compared to this one. <laughs> this one's all fiery and smoky. And this one's brand new. The sun is shining on it. Got a brand new everything. So go right ahead, lovers. <laughs> happy for you, Capricorns. Next card, death. So if it's not a physical death, it's the death of what was, the death of the old to bring in the new. So this is what you're bringing the death to is this tower. Sorry, I see. I, I know he's a little loud back there, y'all. Uh, this death is coming towards this tower, the end of what was, and also the death of the Ten of Wands. We have to... Uh, in cycles so sometimes it's necessary for the tower to fall sometimes it's necessary to go through you know these kind of trying times so when we get to the other side we appreciate it that much more and it looks like you're about to have a grand old time go right ahead capricorns next card we got is the four of cups so some kind of blessing coming in that you don't see and it's going to blindside you so get ready to receive some kind of new gift that god has for you it's all kinds of birds in the backyard they love being back here okay next card we got three of wands so not only do you have the four of wands you got the three of wands where your ships are coming in some kind of blessing some kind of wish and it looks like you're here too. What you want will come in for you. The things that you're desiring are going to happen for you. Go right ahead, Capricorns. All right. So opportunity to make more money. This could be more work at work. It could be an advancement. It could be a career opportunity. It could be more money uh, falling into your lap. But all in all, it's a blessing of more money. Now, this is the slowest night. He does take his time coming in. Uh, it's also a blessed, abundant thing. So it could even be your man taking you out to eat, <laughs> taking you out on a date. <laughs> Next card we got the king of love. So either you're the king of love or someone's expressing their love to you. And this is a beautiful, beautiful king giving you his time, his energy, and beautiful emotions. You could be having a really good time, and this is what you want to see for the lovers, is this king of love. So and you got the lovers and the king of love. So this is love being shared between two. That's beautiful. Next card, the eight of pentacles. So, yeah, you could be working really hard. You might get overtime. You might get some kind of extra pay, but all in all, you know, work is looking good, and so is money. Next card, the Two of Cups. So, yeah, this is a beautiful love relationship being formed. 
And so this is all about good work opportunity and good love opportunity. So looks like work and money is going to be good. I mean, and so is uh, love. So just get ready for a grand time. This is what's next. Spirit is trying to show you. And then you have temperance. So remain balanced, divine masculine, divine feminine. These two cups right here, marry the two so you can have a good balanced life with your emotions and with love. That's wonderful. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot, God spiritual Uber. So you are moving. It looks like some of you will be moving, moving on from a past relationship or moving on from the tower that fell and building the new tower up. And this is like God blessing this and making it happen pretty fast. It's going to happen faster than you think. The time will go faster than you can really imagine. And this is the five of pentacles. So you could be struggling with someone in a relationship. It doesn't have to be your lover. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be someone at work. But all in all, this is coming to an end. It's time for a change. And then you got the sun, the sunshine divine. So these are some of the best times to have when you get the sun. It's like freedom, joy, you know, everything is how it should be. You're feeling really good. This is my favorite card in the whole deck. So just get ready for a beautiful, abundant time. Not only did you get the sun, you got the two of cups. You got the lovers. How beautiful. So this is a loving time as well. You got God, spiritual Uber coming in for you. Holy smokes. You got the four wands, happily ever after. <laughs> And you got the will of fortune and your spiritual spidey sense will be popping. So you're ending the cycle to start a new cycle. And I'm so happy for you. Like I said, money's good for you. You're also having a queen of wands, someone very magical around you. If this isn't you, this is someone you'll be around. And then you got a whole new beginning and triumph. So go right ahead, Capricorns. Truth is on your side. This will cut out what needs to be cut out with this uh, <laughs> high priestess. You can't play her at all. So go right ahead, y'all. Enjoy your new success. Thank you all so much for your time and attention. Blessings, blissfulness, peace, and love. Bye, y'all.